And she told the resident, oh, don't shake his hand. He has herpes. He ate my... That's why he has that. Um, excuse me for saying that, but that's what she has said. So then I looked at her because it's like cameras all over the facility. So I didn't want to get into like no verbal commentation with her or whatever. I just walked down. I was in a zone. That's what they call like when you patrol the building, make sure. No, I'm in a zone. Your Honor. So? There, and she's still yelling the same thing. So she was coming down the hallway saying he. Whatever he did, I don't want to hear it again. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Very graphic terms that you had a sexual encounter. Yeah, and she kept saying that's why I had the, the mark on my face. That you had a herpes on your face. Yes, ma'am. He did not take off his clothes. I undressed from the waist down, <laughs> and that was it. When he finished, I put my clothes back on, and we walked back to work. Sounds very romantic to me. When a lady has a sexual encounter with a gentleman, a married gentleman, in the workplace, she keeps it to herself. Even and he, my... I'm speaking! <laughs> Even your sister was disgusted with you. But Betty, the sexual I, encounter I'm was true. There's something wrong with you. It you should not people. be anywhere near old, frail people mm -hmm. who can't defend themselves mm -hmm. because there is something definitely wrong with you mentally. Mm -hmm. Clearly, wherever you're working, if you're putting this lady in charge of defenseless old people, you're making a big mistake. I don't know whether you had sex with him or not, but I know that you said to other people in a vengeful way that he had a sexually transmitted disease. And that is defamation. And it was said in a spiteful way, and that he's going to get compensated for. And I'm dismissing your counterclaim, mm. because anything that happened subsequent to that, as a result of that, you deserve.